Welcome back to Julia, I'm Matt again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and today we'll be released December 2021 security update and the feature drop for Pixel devices. Unfortunately, the Pixel 6 will get the update next week, but thankfully I still have my Pixel 5 and 4a to show you what's new in December feature drop. Before starting, please hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of content and I promise you there are a lot coming in the near future. And now let's jump in. I installed the update only on my Pixel 5, so let's take a look at the build number really quick. It's sq1a.211205.008 and now let's take a look at the new features. The most hidden feature in this update is the new boot animation. Now the G logo will use the same colors you chose under the wallpaper and the style app and here I have three different colors as an example. Let's continue with the hidden features before talking about the stuff that Google mentioned already and the second one is the redesigned internet card. As you see it now matches material you with the same bigger toggles the highlights and also the buttons. The card itself is much taller than before because it has more white space and if you take a look here in this side by side comparison on my Pixel 4a you see how much smaller is the card on the 4a so it looks slightly better and matches the design language of Android 12. Another small tweak here for the internet tile is the ability to access it from your lock screen. So for example, when I tap on both on the new and old versions, as you see here on my Pixel 4a, it's asking me to unlock because it's using the older version. While here I can turn the Wi-Fi on or off immediately, but I cannot do anything else. Another hidden change under the auto rotate settings. Now we have a toggle on the newer version to turn the feature on or off from the front page instead of going inside first and the second difference is in the tile now it mentions on the newer version if the face based feature is activated or not the fourth change when you activate the battery share feature for the first time from the quick settings area you should get a graphical representation here explaining how the feature works i took a screenshot earlier and this is how it looks this animation will show you how the feature should work and also there is a learn more button that takes you to settings and ok button to dismiss the card. Google also redesigned the home settings page to match Android 12 design language with a bigger header and toggles also the header is collapsible. The only page that looks dated here is the at a glance settings page but when you go to things like search your phone you will see the same design change and here is a quick side by side comparison with the previous version on my Pixel 4a. I also found a small tweak under the display settings now when you go to colors you will see multiple images with different styles and tones to better assess your color choice. And I also found one of the most annoying bugs in Android 12 got fixed with this build previously when I used to change the brightness from the quick settings area the white background of the notifications shade disappears but now this issue is no longer happening. And now it's time for today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by cdkoffers.com. It's an online digital store that sells original Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 30% discount instead of the regular 20%. This special offer is available from the 1st till the 31st of December. As you see, you can get a Windows 10 OEM key for $13, which is insanely cheap. And if you are interested in Microsoft Office Professional Plus, you can get it for $44 after discount using the same promo code ID20. Please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review. Now let's take a look at the good stuff and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the now playing feature. So let's go to sound and vibration and then now playing and then now playing history. Here you will find a new hard button next to each song which will allow you to add them to your favorites like this. And there is a new favorite tab that you can access by swiping or by tapping on its name. You can use the same button to remove songs from your favorites either under the favorite tab or under history. You can multi-select songs as well and add all of them together using the hard button at the top right corner and use the same one to remove all of them as well. Another way to add songs to your favorites is from the now playing notification itself. So here I have one and as you see I have the same heart button. Tapping on it will simply add the song to my favorites right away. And if the song is already added to your favorites and the phone identified it one more time, you should see a small heart icon next to it on your lock screen. Another quick way to add the song to your favorites directly from the lock screen is by tapping on the note icon like this. The new favorites feature is available on the Pixel 3a and the newer, so the only one left out is the Pixel 3. One more feature under now playing is called show search button on lock screen. 
This feature will allow you to search for the song online if the phone couldn't identify it automatically. This is not a new feature, but it was only available on the Pixel 6 models, but now Google decided to push it to older models starting from the Pixel 4 and later. So let me show you a quick example by playing a song next to my phone while having the phone locked and wait for a few seconds. As you see here, I got a search button and when I tap on it, the phone will start searching for the song online and after a few seconds, you should expect the name of the song to appear like this. Next, the press and hold for assistant feature we got with Android 12 now got a new slider under settings, then system, gestures, and then press and hold power button. If you have the feature activated, you will see a new slider here to control the press and hold duration, so you can make it very short or long like this. Next, we got a new feature called the quick tap to snap. As the name suggests, you can assign the quick tap gesture to six different shortcuts inside the Snapchat application. To access it, you can jump to settings, then system, gestures, then quick tap, and then tap on the gear icon next to open app and look for the Snapchat application in the list if you have it already installed and tap the gear icon next to it. Here you will find the six different shortcuts. You have open app, stories, map, chat, spotlight, and your profile. If you want this feature to take you directly to the camera inside Snapchat, you need to set it to open app. And once you do this, it will take you to the camera right away. The quick tap to snap is only available on the Pixel 4a 5G and later. Next, the wallpaper and the style app got three new wallpapers under the curated culture category to celebrate the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. The Pixel Buds also got a new feature that can work on any device running Android 6.0 or later with the Pixel Buds app installed. You should see under the sound settings a new slider to customize your bass intensity, but unfortunately I didn't get it yet on my Pixel 5, but let me show you how it looks from Google's own video. As shown here, you can choose between six different levels, and I also spotted a new toggle that I've never seen before called loudness compensation. As per the description, this one should improve the bass and the treble at lower volumes. Later in the video, I found a small text saying Pixel Buds A series sold separately, so I'm not sure if this feature is exclusive to the A series or it can also work on the original Pixel Buds, so let's wait and see. Next, nearby share. With this update, it will support the ultra wideband technology, or in other words, the phone will be able to detect other devices in close proximity and start sending stuff to them right away. Unfortunately, this feature is only available for the 6 Pro, which is a bummer for the Pixel 6 owners, as it's a brand new phone and it doesn't support a nice feature like this. Also, the 6 Pro update is scheduled for the next week, so I'm not gonna be able to show you how it looks, but here's a sneak peek from Google's own video. Next, the car crash detection is now available in three more countries, the are Taiwan, Italy and France. And finally, the digital car key of Android 12 is officially available only for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro owners. And as per Google, it's only available for certain vehicles and countries, but I couldn't find any of them on Google's own website. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in December 2021 security update and feature drop for Pixel devices. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.